Prime Minister Narendra Modi is unveiling India's first vertical lift sea bridge. The new state-of-the-art engineering marvel connects mainland Tamil Nadu to the sacred island of Rameshwaram and it is replacing an older Pamban bridge that lasted almost a century. So, let's dive right into this new infrastructural feat and why it's a boon for the nation and the state of Tamil Nadu. First, a bit of history. The original Pamban Bridge, built in 1914, was India's first sea bridge and an engineering marvel of its time. For over a century, it connected the pilgrimage town of Rameshwaram to the rest of the country. That's right, for a whole century, the bridge remained a lifeline to Pamban Island, facilitating thousands of rail journeys and maritime operations. It allowed ships to pass through the Park Strait while trains travelled over it, all with the use of the swing mechanism. A central portion of the bridge could swing open horizontally to allow ships to pass through. This was a significant engineering feat at the time. It allowed for both maritime and rail traffic to coexist. And it did so for almost a century. However, by 2022, the aging structure began to show signs of wear and tear and came to be seen as the most dangerous railway bridge in the country. To avoid safety hazards, the bridge was taken out of service, cutting off rail connectivity to Rameshwaram, which is on the Pamban Island, across a 2.5 km strait with the main island. With the old bridge decommissioned, the people of Rameshwaram found themselves disconnected from the mainland via rail making the inauguration of the new vertical lift bridge a much-anticipated moment for residents and businesses alike. Now, the new Pamban Bridge takes the legacy of its predecessor to a whole new level. At a project cost of 535 crore rupees, this new structure features a vertical lift mechanism, which is a first of its kind for India. Here's how it works. The central span of the bridge can be lifted 12.5 meters above sea level, allowing large vessels and ships to pass through without any disruptions to maritime traffic, much like the Tower Bridge in London. Once the ships have passed, the span is lowered back into place for trains to resume their journey. The bridge showcases state-of-the-art engineering with sensor-based control systems to ensure smooth functioning. Let's look into why this is good news for the people of Rameshwaram. The Pamban Bridge spans the Park Strait, a narrow water body that separates Pamban Island from the Indian mainland. Pamban Island, home to the famous Ramanatha Swami Temple, is a major pilgrimage destination, attracting millions of visitors annually. The bridge plays a crucial role in connecting the island to the mainland, making it vital for local residents, businesses and tourism. Remember, Rameshwaram is a town of fishermen, so it is a great boost for their businesses. The region is also geographically significant due to its proximity to Sri Lanka with the Park Strait forming part of the natural border between India and Sri Lanka. For decades, the Pamban Bridge has served as a key transportation route across this critical waterway, enabling rail connectivity to Rameshwaram, which is a crucial economic and religious hub. Over the past decade, Tamil Nadu's railway infrastructure has seen unprecedented growth. Budget 2025 had allocated 6,626 crore rupees for the state, seven times what the state got in the 2009 to 2014 period. 1,302 kilometers of new railway tracks and 2,152 kilometers of electrification have been completed along 687 rail flyovers and underpasses. 77 stations, including Chennai Egmore, Madurai, Rameswaram, Katpadi and Kanyakumari have undergone major facelifts under Amrit Bharat Station Scheme. Meanwhile, Chennai's integral coach factory is producing state-of-the-art Vande Bharat trains. Now, with the new Pamban Bridge, a historical lifeline has been reimagined, a testament to the vision of transforming Tamil Nadu's infrastructure and connectivity.